Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and I am bringing you a slightly different video today. It's a video about how I am packing for a retreat I'm going to at the end of July in Seattle. It's with the Scrap Gals. And this is the first time I've ever gone to some sort of crafting event where I'm not driving. So I'm actually flying into Seattle. And so I want to be very deliberate in what I take um, and try and be realistic about what I am hoping to accomplish versus what I'm actually going to accomplish. Now, this is marketed as a retreat, not as a... Um, what do you call it? Not as a crop. So we will have some time to work on our own projects, but there will be a number of classes, etc., that will be offered. So um, I haven't printed my photos yet for the classes. I still need to um, go through and sort that out, but I have figured out what I'm going to bring for the crop time. And namely, I'm going to bring photos around a trip to Disneyland back in 2010. It was a work trip. And um, I had a little bit of time and I went to Disneyland on the weekend and so I'm going to show you what I've done to prepare and how or what I'm taking I guess. So first off this is a makeup bag and I love this for my craft stuff. Now it's pretty full and this is my pretty much for the most part my designated craft kit for on the go. So like if I travel for work and stuff and I want to take some crafting supplies this is normally what I take. And what I like about it is that there are not actually a lot of compartments. So I can fit a lot of stuff in here, which is really good. So it's a bit of a mess because I had to add a few other things in here. And before I fly, obviously, I'm going to go through and all the liquids I'll put in, in Ziploc bags, etc. So this is something I just recently got at a, um event that I attended. It's a stamp chamois or a lawn fawn chamois for cleaning your stamps. Um, I'm going to put this in a plastic bag so that once it gets dirty um, I will have a place to put it. These are not normally in my kit but they are colors that I will be using to do my scrapbooking so I threw those in. I normally keep this tin with a bunch of little bits of scrap paper in here for stamping and I am going to take this with me because a lot of this is vanilla from Stampin' Up and that kind of matches the collection that I'm using for or the majority of my um, pages for Disney. I also normally keep coloring um, stamped images for coloring. I will not be taking this with me so I'm not going to leave I'm not, not going to take that. I also normally carry um, these watercolor or some sort of watercolor paper. I am not going to be taking these with me but that's Basically, I want to give you a feel of what's normally in this kit. I have a palette knife because I'm going to be taking some paste with me. I have an adhesive and a refill and another refill. Normally, if I'm just going for um, a work trip, I would not take that many refills. But because this is primarily a scrapbooking event, I, I'm taking refills here. Plus, I've got a couple extras elsewhere. I have a, a pencil sharpener, I have gold Heidi Shine Mist, I have a glue pen. This is not normally in my kit. Um, it is Scotch uh, Create Tacky Glue in a fine line bottle. Um, because I'm taking some smaller embellishments, I thought a fine line tip applicator would be good. So I added that for this trip. I've got a... Um, Ranger Mini Mister. It is empty. There is no water in it. Normally I do have this in here and I will be taking it with me because we could be watercoloring in some of the classes. So this is my homemade palette or homemade paint tin I guess and it's just an Altoids tin and what I did was I laminated a couple sheets of white cardstock that I stick in the lid and that is to act as a palette and then I took lids from uh, water bottles and just added some um, of the main colors so of course you've got red yellow and blue because you know with those three colors you can pretty much make any and then I added green brown and black so like I said this is normally in this kit and I will be bringing that with me I always have Tombow Mono. It's one of my favorite glues. I carry a glue stick in there as well, just in case. Um, 
I also normally carry this iridescent embossing powder, but because I'm not taking a heat gun with me, I will not be taking this with me. So we're gonna move that to the side. I have a corner rounder. And this is something I recently picked up. It's a little dirty. <laughs> I recently picked up at Tuesday morning and it is a self-healing mat. It is magnetic and it comes with a magnetic ruler. So I thought that would be perfect and it fits perfectly in this container. In the pockets, I have a little bit of um, hemp twine. I have um, Hero Arts Black ink. I believe this is Copic friendly. And those fit just perfectly in my little boxes, or little boxes in the little pouches there. I also happen to have a Versamark ink cube and a Stampin' Up! Whisper White. So I will take those. They're kind of like my basics. So we'll pop those in there. And then in the pouch, I keep um, some dimensionals, foam dimensionals, a little bit of sanding paper. And over the years, I've collected some of these flat glue dots or glue dots that are on like uh, release paper instead of in a roll. And I basically save those for my travel so that because they're nice and flat. We put that in there. There's some more dimensional adhesives. I have another ruler. I just leave that in here. I have these old, old, old layering tools from Stampin' Up. I don't really use these that often, but I, you know, I have them, so I just tuck them in if I ever want to do some sort of layering, I guess. And then a, um, what do you call it, uh, adhesive remover. So I like to keep these all in this pouch. Um, we'll do that there. I also have a small iris container, and in here I contain th things like a pair of scissors. These are from Stampin' Up. I've got pencil, I've got a Sharpie marker, a fine tip. I've got an aqua brush. This really acts as my only paintbrush. I have a pair of Cutter Bee tweezers. Um, these are my favorite tweezers. They are a little bit broken, which is why they moved into my travel kit versus my uh, main kit. Just a regular pen. Stampin' Up! blender pen, some sketching pencils in different weights. So I've got a 3H, 4H, 5E. Basically, they were just extras. So I threw them in here. A regular mechanical pencil, a vinyl eraser, a bone folder, a sand eraser. Is that what they call it? Yeah, sand eraser. I've got a jelly roll white pen, a Sharpie pen, and an Americrat. American Crafts Precision Pen. And like I said, these all live in here year round. I don't take them out for anything. Now, this was a tool that I had bought like ages ago and it used to be a little bit longer. And on this end, it had like a liquid glue with like a doe foot applicator. Um, the glue dried up or was used up or whatever. So um, in theory, I could check this out. But what I like about it is on this end, it contained multiple tools. So I basically discarded the glue side because there's no need to keep it. And on this side, when you take the cap off, here I've got, I don't know if you could see that, it's one of those um, ball tipped things you can use for scoring. And then in here, there is a many pair of tweezers, as well as, I don't know if I can get this out wedged in there pretty good. Maybe I need to use the tweezers, huh? There we go. As well as this little, I don't know, chisel end. And I like to use this for like uh, rub-ons and stuff like that. So I figured it doesn't take up very much room. I know I have a pair of tweezers already, but it's all contained in there and why not make it work? If I didn't have enough room, then I would consider um, dropping that out. So this is, like I said, for the most part, this is what I normally have as my travel kit, my designated travel supplies with the few exceptions. I'm going to pack this back up and then I will show you the next bit of stuff that I'm taking. Okay, so this is my next round of items that I will be taking, or I hope I will be taking. Um, we'll go through this bag here shortly. The first things I wanna show you is I do have this really old plastic ruler. I know I have a, a small ruler in the other bag 
and that's perfect for that kit but when I like when I'm scrapbooking I like to have a full ruler that spans the 12 inch page and this one's very thin and it is very durable I don't have to worry about it cracking or anything like that plus it has a centering ruler so it goes from zero out on either direction which I find very helpful so I'm taking that I have a Tim Holtz uh, stamping platform the mini I am taking that with me and I am taking a Fiskars this is my old faithful it's probably about 15 years old um, I recently replaced the blade on it so I think I should be good so those I am taking with me as well this bag here is another makeup bag now I have stuffed it pretty full and uh, the magnetic closure or whatever on here doesn't isn't working at the moment because of that but um, I'm okay with that because it's just gonna tuck into my suitcase and um, I'm gonna pull it out and have it next to me on the table as I'm working so this here contains most of the well no that's not true it contains quite a few of the embellishments and stamps etc that I'm taking so in this pocket I have added my uh, tiny attacher I have a Mickey punch this is the only punch I am taking besides the corner rounder I am also taking this Dreamweaver uh, metallic gold embossing paste um, if I was worried about space I would transfer some to a smaller container um, this is the full size but I think I'm gonna have enough room so I'm going to leave it as is I am taking a number of stamps as well as um, dies with me now I am not taking a big shot but a couple individuals that are attending that are local have offered to bring their uh, big shot uh, die cutting machine and you know are willing to share which I think is so um, so wonderful and um, as a result I can take a few dies with me that I think I can use to flush out um, my pages so as far as stamp sets go I basically have a couple themed type stamps and then some alphabets so I will be taking some alphabet stickers but not a lot and my hope is that by taking these stamps with me and the stamp platform and the inks that I should be able to make the titles that I need so I'm taking this um, magical um, stamp set from Hero Arts uh, Sunny Days this is from Ellie Studio Noteworthy also from Ellie Studio um, I just think that they have some really cute little icons on here that I can use they're pretty generic for stamp sets I'm taking a tile alpha I believe this one might be pink fresh I'm not sure um, but it does come with a die to cut them all out of course they're just rectangles so they're easy enough to trim out by hand if you needed to I'm taking Addison from Kelly Perker Perky sorry about that um, it's a bold but small alpha I'm taking Olivia Alphabet. This is from uh, LA Studios and it's a fine, fine, smaller alphabet. Sarif Upper Alpha. Now I want to say this is Kelly Perky, but I could be wrong on that. If you really need to know, let me know and I will look it up. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is a larger, bold um, alpha. And then I've got Bowery and Broom. So this is an upper and a lower. It's fairly thin, but larger. And this is from um, Kelly Perky. And then I have this labeler set from Stampin' Up. So again, it's got two different alphabets, fairly small. Um, it's got a heart and a star, which is very useful. And um, yeah, so those are the stamps that I will be taking. For the dies, I have Magical Memories from MFT. I am taking the stitched hexagon star stacks from MFT. Let's get nautical from MFT. Now the only ones I'm really using are these ones on the back but because I have the space I'm just going to take the full set and then I don't have to worry about matching them up later. Starlit Breeze from Memory Box. I thought this went really well with the magical kind of theme of Disney. 
Chorus Stars. This is the Stitch Star Stacks from MFT. Um, I've got Silly Stitched Circles from Little Inker. And Stitch Circle Frames from MFT. Circle Loops from Simon Says Stamp. Stitched Heart Stacks from MFT. And then I have my one and only stencil, which is Stars and Dots from, let me see, Stars and Dots from Simon Says Stamp. Um, so this is why I'm bringing the embossing paste. But I figure I could always make some sort of stencil out of some of these other shapes if I needed or was so inclined. So anyways, those fit all really well here in the back pocket or the bottom pocket so that's what's there in this pocket I have a almost used up package of um, baby wipes I've got the say cheese two chipboard pieces I've got all my gold um, whatever I got for gold as far as sequins and then I have a couple more adhesive things in here so this pocket is not super full, but just full enough. In the top pocket is, are kind of my embellishments that will fit. Basically I tried to fit everything in here that I possibly could. And what I did was I have some stuff that is from the uh, Say's Cheat Say Cheese collections, but I also went through my stash. so. I've got these uh, puffy hearts and X's or pluses from um, Freckled Fawn. I've got some enamel dots from Bella Boulevard. Pink Fresh, I've got these mirrored, actually they call them gold acrylic mirror stickers. I've got Studio Calico Gold Stars. I have no idea. I think these might be from Hobby Lobby from their Paper Studio collection. I have from Studio Calico, I have this little chipboard set. I like. The colors I think will go well. It says shine on magic. I think I can use both of those. I think I can use this banner. Um, one enchanted evening I think I could possibly use for the um, fireworks. So I think that one will be quite useful. I have these sequin, <coughs> excuse me, sequin enamel jot, jot, jots, enamel dots from Dewcrafts in red and in gold. I have these uh, Say Cheese 2 self adhesive brads, Simple Story Say Cheese uh, photo stickers, so they're clearish, I guess. Um, Say Cheese decorative brads. I have this really old Making Memories Defined Friendship. And I don't know that there's a ton on here. Well, actually, there's quite a few. There's like dream and wish and play, wish, enjoy, fun, smile. So I think there's a few things on here that I could possibly use. I have these four by six snap say cheese cards. And while I am, I think I only have one pocket page planned, um, I thought I could always use these as layers. Um, I have some washi tape from uh, Gossamer Blue. So I think this blue here I could use. I think I could possibly use this wood green, this black and white piece, the yellow, and the heart, black heart strip. So I think that one will work quite well. From the Oasis collection from Crate Paper, I've got their um, word stickers. Uh, from Feckled Fawn, I have some foam word stickers. Also from Freckled Fawn, I have these puffy. Now I probably would only use the gold, I would not use the silver, but I'm taking them along anyways. And I have, ironically, I have two sets of these Felicity Jane Mila collection, or foam stickers. And I have moments on here, but not on here. And I have Adventure, Missing, and Wander. So I like, if I had actually combined these, I maybe would have almost used up one. But anyways, that's what's there. And then I went through all my little loose embellishments and put them in these little um, CD sleeves. So I picked any hearts that I had pre-punched or ephemera pieces in the various colors. I have some tags. Um, these are some Amy Tangerine uh, watercolor type tags. So we can 
you know, maybe add some color to them with the resist. I have some gold foil tags. I have no idea where I got these from. And then I have this little craft one because there is some craft color that runs through. So I just want to use those up. Some labels. Can you see that? There's some glare. Sorry about that. And then some stars. Okay. So I think that's it for this bag. We'll pack everything back up and then I'll show you what's next. Okay. I think this is the last pile. I hope it's everything. I'm not leaving for a couple more weeks yet. So this gives me a little bit of an opportunity to think of whether or not there's anything else I want to add, which could very well be. But um, I think for the most part, this will do it. So I have a couple iris containers. Um, basically what I did is I went through all my various types of ephemera, my acrylic pieces, my wood, wood, board, wood board, chipboard, my wood veneer, my puffy, anything loose and um, flare, etc. And I've got like a real hodgepodge in here. This is a more Disney themed focused ephemera. So they're like leftover bits and stickers from previous projects. I do have the Say Cheese 2 decorative clips. Um, I don't know which collection this is from. Say Cheese 2 stitch tags. I have some enamel dots. I have some Disney themed flair. You get the idea, right? So these are basically just little bits and pieces left over from other projects that I would like to try and use up with the exception of the Say Cheese stuff. So we'll just take those along with me. I have three packages of the Felicity Jane Kate gold glitter stickers. I absolutely foam glitter stickers. I absolutely love these, which is why I have so many of them. And I'm kind of going with the gold theme. So I am taking those. The um, thickers, which one is this from? High Five Puffy Stickers. Um, they're black and white and I think that a lot of these will work um, you know between chill and happy best day ever dream big um, what do you got out here relax fun oh oh so happy yay etc so I think those will be quite useful I've had these in my stash forever they are from Chanel I'm not sure what collection because I cut off the label but um, a couple things in here that I thought would work well. Um, believe, obviously, this ampersand, the hearts, the puffy, or the puffy, the puffy clouds, a camera, embrace today, I think all will work. So we're going to try and use some of those up. I also have from Dear Lizzie these giant chipboard words, and I think all of these would apply. Now I'm not I'm trying to think. Oh, I got some serious glare. Sorry, you guys. Um, I'm not intending to use all of them, but I have no idea which ones. So we're going to take all of them. I have the Sna Sna <laughs> Sage Cheese 2 snap cards. And again, same with those other ones. Don't know if I'm going to use them all, but we'll see. I have the Say Cheese chipboard stickers. So that's what those are. I am going to use this cardboard as a protective element when I put these in my suitcase. I have from the Say Cheese Collection Expression Cardstock Stickers. So there are two alphabets in here, which is another reason why I didn't feel that I needed to bring more than what I've got. Plus there's the tile. So that's one, two, three, four alphas plus the gold plus the alphabet stamp. So I think I'm good. And then there's from the Say Cheese Fundamentals Cardstock Stickers. Got those. And then I went through, let's save the paper for last. So I went through and printed out all my photos and basically aligned them in page pockets or pockets, whatever you want to call it, page protectors. I added a binder ring. So these are in the order that I would expect them to go into an album. Now I debated about putting them in an album, but that just adds more bulk and um, would just make things very heavy and to be honest that's what I'm more concerned about it's not so much the volume but the weight so I went through and I printed out photos I printed out sketches if I wanted to use a sketch and um, 
went through and kind of picked out background papers and any coordinating papers I wanted to use. Now sometimes I know I need more papers in order to make the sketch work but I didn't want to make the decision right now because that's just not fun so I just put the background in and just left it. Now that doesn't mean that this is written in stone and I can't change it because I'm taking this stack of cardstock with me but it gives me an idea or at least a starting point as to what I am going to need at the bare minimum. So you'll see here I've got photos printed here's the photo here is an uh, inspiration image I'll just show you what I mean what I did so I've got the photo and then I found a scrapbook page on Pinterest that I want to kind of um, play off of and I picked a background paper and then you know I printed a 12 by 12 page here's the corresponding you get the idea now every now and then I threw in some stickers now say cheese is not really um, like well it's a thematic paper it's not what's the right word it's a little more abstract and I do have quite a few actual like Disney themed um, products now I don't know if I'm going to use these because I don't know if they're gonna go or not but if I thought maybe there was a potential of me using it I threw them in and we'll just see how it goes so basically that's what you see here is cards but not cards background paper photos, sketch, or inspiration. I have one pocket page. I did not fill in any of the pockets. I don't even know if this is necessarily where these are going to stay. On this one here, I have extra photos to fill this in, but I didn't know where I wanted to put them, so I didn't trim them down. And there you go. So I think I have about 40 pages here, which I think should get me through the event. I hope so. So anyways, that's what that is. And then I had a lot of leftovers from the Say Cheese because I think I had bought papers from Say Cheese, Say Cheese 2, and maybe even 3. And what I did was I went through and took one or two sheets depending on what they were. So typically if it's a, uh, a cut apart I would take two if I liked both sides and only one if not. Some of these were from a paper pad and so they are only one-sided. I opted to go the one-sided ones wherever possible because that allows me to use up more for my stash. At least that's my theory. So that takes me all the way to here. So what is that? Like half an inch? Half an inch of cardstock? all of this plus the snap cards uh, to fill out the pages so I think that's going to be plenty but just in case because I know that um, the papers are quite busy I also am going to take some plain cardstock and uh, to be honest there was no rhyme or reason for how many I grabbed I'm going to grab some more of this vanilla though because I think I don't have enough of that but basically I went through um, the collection and picked the colors out so there's like this light blue teal blue aqua blue whatever you want to call it some yellow some red black and uh, craft and vanilla and I like I said I think I'm gonna add a little bit more vanilla to it and that is probably what are we gonna say here about half an inch too so an inch of cardstock I know is probably way too much for what I need given that I've already done this work but I'd really hate to get there and then find out that I need one piece of paper so I'm going to add a piece of cardboard to help protect these I'm going to stick them in a ziploc bag and that should cover that the only other thing I'm considering um, that I haven't done is I have these Tim Holtz dies. These are uh, like sizzlet dies, I guess, and they're really quite long. And so I think I might pre-cut some of these to take along with me. Haven't decided yet or not. So if I do, I'll just add that in maybe one of the pockets, the page protectors, and see where we end up. So that is it. I hope you guys... Um, found something useful in here if you're going to do something similar again like I said I am flying so um, I really 
don't want to take extra luggage and I need to watch the weight so <laughs> I really don't want to take too much more the only other thing I could possibly think of that I might want to take is maybe some sort of um, Nouveau drops or glossy accents or something like that and add that to the mix and again I will probably throw in actually I will probably throw in a post-it note so that I can if I'm missing something I can write a note and stick it on the page so I know when I come back so I will give you guys an update when I come back showing you what I created and uh, until next time happy crafting <music>